Hello everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading uh, for Capricorn. How are you guys? So I'm going to pull out four oracle cards. Actually six, pardon me. I'm going to clarify with the tarot and use some moonology cards. Maybe a little Lenormand. We'll see. I'm just going to go with the flow. What does Capricorn need to know? adjustment looking back moving forward so some of you have made some adjustments you may be looking back at something okay because you're leaving something behind though but there's some sort of adjustment it's often reflecting on something okay so this is for positive though because you're moving forward yeah very nice and i see setting boundaries threshold protection and honor this is an energy of honor knowing your worth Again, always that message comes out, but you're moving forward. I love this, but you're as moving forward. I feel like you're going to set boundaries uh, for yourself, for those around you. Beautiful. Yeah, I feel like you're protected here too. Yeah, it's an energy of protecting yourself too by setting boundaries. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see, earth magic. That's yourself, fearless, removing obstacles. So there's some, there's another little energy of kind of looking back. See, I feel like you're removing obstacles in your path. There may have been obstacles. You may have needed to make some kind of adjustment in your life, your love life, your work, whatever it is that you're focused on. Often Capricorn, you're very balanced and often very good at balancing the two, but it's telling you to set boundaries. Okay, it's an energy of grounding yourself. Okay, I see a very earthy energy, of course, and this fearless energy. You're just going to remove boundaries and obstacles, you know what I mean? Or not boundaries, you're going to remove some obstacles in your life. They're, they're, and this is going to remove obstacles, which is interesting. We'll see how that plays out. Ooh, and we have brilliant beliefs, luminous light force, personal power. See, there's something that you've done before, um, and you're taking that look back. And you're going to make an adjustment as you move forward because there's something that you've learned or some kind of knowledge okay, that you're going to bring forward here. And it is about setting boundaries. So it's getting you to remember that. Um, but I think you're setting some boundaries for yourself too, okay, uh, with this because it's an energy of staying grounded, being, you know, looking at situations very carefully. But I feel like you're moving into this fearless energy where you're... Uh, Setting these boundaries is actually going to remove obstacles because you've had some obstacles in your path. And this is likely what's happened. But I feel here with this luminous life force, personal power. This is knowing your power. Okay, so I do feel like you are claiming that power. Ooh, this is good. <laughs> this could be a work situation, could be a love life. Yeah, I see fortune, wealth, and plenty. Yeah, you're definitely going to, whatever it is that you're looking back on, there's something that's going to create this adjustment. Something needs adjusting, okay? So this is, and it could be too. It's an energy where um, maybe a situation, work, or love life, someone didn't treat you right because you didn't set boundaries. And this is what I think you're, you're something you've learned here, something from the past, that this movement forward is all this abundance coming in. See, this fortune, wealth, and plenty. Oh, yeah. You're, there's something you, you've done before. Maybe you didn't finish as well when it comes to work, love life, whatever. It looks like money, wealth, plenty. See, this is where I feel there's something you're going to revisit. Yeah, love that. Capricorn. And we have, yeah, see, fearless of victimization. Not being the victim by setting boundaries. So there's something maybe in the past where, you know, you were the victim of something. Or you felt like you were. But you know, if you don't set boundaries and something happens, then you can't really get claim that victim. Okay, so it's an energy of lack and loneliness. This is also an energy of someone feeling like they never have enough money. Now, I don't know what it, what it is that happened. You may have lost money in a relationship or you know, something to do with work. But you have abundance coming in. Okay, so let go of this negative energy where there isn't enough money or you don't have enough love. Okay, so it's an energy of cutting your losses, leaving this in the past and moving forward. Yeah, nothing lost, nothing gained is what pops into my mind. Yeah, letting go of all that negativity. Let's have a look. Tell me about this adjustment. What needs adjusting? Adjustment. 
I see inner strength. Ooh, that card. I have looked through this deck so many times and I don't remember seeing that card. It just took me by surprise. Love the orange. Yeah, this is your inner strength. Okay, this is yourself being strong and confident. So I feel like whatever it is that's happening, you're moving into a forward with confidence, but you're also taming the beast. You're going to teach people how you want to be treated, but you're going to set boundaries. And we know with yourself, always in a kind and compassionate way. Okay, it's an energy of being patient. So very grounded, sensible, very nice. And then I see the Knight of Wands. Yeah, you may have had somebody who rushed in and rushed out. But you know, this is also this energy of enthusiasm. I see some Leo, some Sag energy. So it's an energy of strength and confidence, kindness, compassion, forgiving the past. So it's not just forgiving people in the past, but it's forgiving yourself. Okay, now I see this energy of confidence. I feel like you got someone coming in and you're going to have to set boundaries or it's something you're just remembering here. Yeah, it's often a person. I mean, the Knight of Wands isn't negative uh, always. Sometimes it is, but it's just a person who's very enthusiastic, often charming and creative. And this is somebody when they see something, they like it. They focused on attraction, often the physical attraction where they feel that chemistry. So they're really enthusiastic. And you can see this lovely picture of this person rowing a boat and they got this little dog in here and they're looking at this companion. See, sometimes it's just companionship. It's often a person who comes in, see, but it has to do with whether someone's loyal, faithful is what I'm seeing. Whenever there's dogs, it's about loyalty, faithful. So do set up boundaries, okay? This is how you prevent somebody from rushing in too fast, okay? So you're kind of grounding. You're going to ground to this person, to be honest. I mean, there's this earth magic. You have this, I feel some of you, we know earth signs have this gift of being sensible and practical, knowing when to kind of slow down, right? And But I feel in the past you weren't very confident enough to set boundaries. But I also feel there's a person here who, you know, um, wasn't confident and they came rushing in and changed their mind or they just kept on going. So there's something to do with that it's likely it's telling me there's going to be some kind of communication from someone with that knight of wands energy tell me about earth magic why is it here whoa yeah you got an ace of pentacles very nice very grounded this is solid look at that earth magic something is going to happen here it's this is just going to be magical i mean this is a person uh, this is about committing this is a commitment it's solid reliable sometimes it's a gift uh, something uh, really special maybe with earth quality but you have some kind of commitment here and this could be too with yourself finding the strength going unless there's a commitment these are my boundaries unless you're committed to me and we have a commitment that you're not going to allow this person to go much further okay uh, this is where you find the strength but you can see there's somebody who is feeling more confident who likely had this energy let's have a look at the brilliant beliefs this is sometimes a person who gets overwhelmed because they move fast it's their nature you know they like it they see it they go for it they're passionate they're like okay i'm rushing in here <laughs> it's often because someone doesn't want someone to get away let's have a look at the brilliant beliefs yeah, nine of wands. It's a person looking back. See, feeling like giving up? Don't give up because there's abundance coming in. I feel like with the nine of wands, not only does someone feel like giving up, they feel a little bit beat up, but they're looking in the past. Somebody is getting over something. See, leaving it in the past where it belongs, but moving forward to something more successful. This could be wealth, prosperity, but it also looks like somebody who comes in very fiery. Now, also, too, um, taming that beast, this could be yourself again. Taming that beast is not rushing through things, not rushing into things. Okay, like I say, making sure there's a commitment, make sure that making sure there's some kind of, you know, you can never guarantee anything in, in, in love or anything. There's never a 100% guarantee things go wrong. But I really feel like you're moving towards a lot of success. I see the feast of plenty, basically. Money, wealth, prosperity, timing, uh, fortune. 
So this is what's so interesting. It's, it's some negative energy. Like I say, there's been some, lo some loss. Um, but I do feel like you've got a person who's coming in. I see Sag Leo energy here. Um, and that, it's often just an energy of pride, strength, and confidence. But it's also about teaching someone how you want to be treated as well as looking on the past with kindness, compassion. Something here is forgivable, okay? Um, but there's sometimes things where you just have to move on, okay? And that's what I feel. You've got some kind of choice. I feel like you've got a person who came in quick and they weren't confident. Uh, I feel they were either over something or it's yourself, like I say, putting something behind and moving towards a job or situation that's more... Because um, I feel like you're revisiting something here. You're Something that you've done before that wasn't complete. Maybe you rushed into it and then decided not to go through with it. Okay, maybe you had too much going on, too much on your plate. Okay, you might revisit that. So taming the beast could be yourself slowing down and being more sensible and practical when it comes to money, work, um, your wealth, prosperity, and abundance. Yeah, so there was a lot of conflict, competition. So if you are competing for a job and you feel like giving up because there's too much competition or too many obstacles in your path, okay, this, this is... The, there it is. The obstacles are being removed. See? Removing obstacles. I feel it's a person for some of you, but others of you, it's yourself rushing into things. Okay? Taming the beast. This is an energy of a mature Capricorn energy. So, yeah, a few things going on, but I'm seeing chaos and conflict brings change. See? It has to do with that being the victim or the fear of being a victim. Just put up boundaries. I, I think we've got a person here who had some really negative energy or loss of money. Something happened. Because I do sense this could be a person coming in. I do think there's something that could be forgiven here. Okay, I do. Because I do feel there's something happened to someone. And there's obstacles going to be removed. These obstacles are being removed. Things that could keep you from having a... Um, uh, abundant relationship, uh, money, wealth, and fortune. Yeah, there's obstacles and challenges, but this is all temporary. They're being removed. There it is, something solid. Now, this could be a job situation, an opportunity. Yeah, so it's an, uh, leaving all this lack behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see somebody was holding on to something, keeping themselves stuck. Okay, this is often someone who keeps things close to their chest. They're in protective mode because something happened in the past. Like I say, if you don't put up boundaries and someone rushes in and out, you have no one to blame but yourself. Okay, so it's really important to do that, to let someone know you want a commitment. Yeah, but Four of Pentacles is also someone who takes stock of their life. So this is somebody here who needs to balance out their life a little bit more because they're stuck. They focus on one thing too much their money. We know Capricorn, you can do that sometimes. Okay. Not all of you, but it is a Capricorns like to work. They like to make money. They like to stay balanced. Always, always working a little bit worried about not having enough money, but somebody here, it's almost like their life has become stuck and stagnant. Um, whether it's yourself or this other person. See, focusing on one thing too much. Somebody here has a lack in their life feeling lonely, left out in the cold, you know. But if you are competing for a job situation, it's telling you to f find that balance, okay? Don't focus on one thing too much in your life, okay? And focus on all aspects of life. And that's what I feel somebody here, and it could be this person, uh, this person here who, you know, uh, has been in this negative energy, the victim of something, so, like I say, they might put up boundaries. Who knows? <laughs> but I feel it's yourself. Yeah. Just teach someone how you want to be treated. But I do feel it's somebody who wasn't confident. They came in. They became overwhelmed because they, they had gone through some kind of loss. Now, it could have been a lot of money. Uh, there was conflict conflict, fighting, arguing. It was just chaos. A lot of drama. So this is somebody who I feel has that sense of loss. So this is an energy of releasing that. Yeah, that's a person, like I say, it's somebody who's kind of stuck in this negative space because of something that happened. 
Yeah, now we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, see, we got someone who's lonely. It's time to focus on something else. It's about balancing out work and a love life. And if it's not you, it's the person around you. Whatever it is that's happened, there is some kind of forgiveness, kindness, and compassion. I feel like you're strong and confident, but it has to do with this person feeling confident too and if you actually put up boundaries for someone like this believe it or not sometimes it makes them feel better because then it's it's not like they have to be in complete control because they're not really ready to be with the night it's just dating courting talking but if you have had a situation with someone where you know you feel like the victim okay leave that behind it doesn't serve you because you're moving towards something better you have someone coming in to talk Okay, you have the Knight of Cups. Okay, somebody wants to communicate. They're coming in to take action. This is something worth fighting for. So really nice. Yeah, you see? Looks like a couple things, but like I say, it's probably this person's energy. And what do we have? Yeah, see, it's a somebody who felt like there was no hope. See, they were focused on those cups. Now, maybe it's yourself. You were in that space of negativity, focus on all these cups that spilled, what, you know, what could have been, didn't happen, it wasn't successful, you know, and it could be to do with money too. But you can see, this is someone needs to leave this behind. Okay, no more focusing on that, those cups that are spilled. Okay. Because we, I'm going to tell you, if it is a relationship energy, it's an energy of when two people come together, you can build and rebuild. Okay? Always remember that. Let's have a look at this Knight of Cups. Oh, we have somebody. Yeah, see, there was some sort of indecision. Someone here failed to see. This is a person who wasn't seeing that they were in this negative energy, but there was some kind of indecision. Now we have somebody focusing on something. See, taking off the blindfold to actually see. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> somebody shooting a bone, bone arrow blindfolded. But you see what I mean? That's what it is. They focus on it and they go for it, but they don't even really see what they're doing or what they're bringing in. Uh, and I feel yourself too, okay? Yeah, just take a good look at it. Now we have the King of Swords. Yeah, this is someone who's now confident. Um, they're they're not no longer decisive. They've taken off the rose-colored glasses. They're losing the negativity. This is somebody who had some, they lost something. And I do feel they were the victim of someone, but there was also no boundaries. They might, may have rushed into a situation. See, they may have rushed into a situation without knowing someone well. Mm -hmm. Somebody crossed the line here. Now, if it's somebody with yourself, like I say, they're feeling confident. They're analyzing the situation. Someone's speaking truth. There's some kind of truth coming out. Uh, I feel someone's going to talk to you. They're very wise. They're very smart. Like I say, it's somebody here who didn't see or someone just didn't see you. They may have crossed the line with you. If you did put up boundaries and they crossed the line, yeah. But you can see this is solid, reliable. This is energy of building. It's rebuilding this foundation. So it's an energy of somebody coming in, putting their best foot forward. See, this is a person who doesn't always come in quite right. They're not quite ready, but they really want it, right? So like it's an energy, like I say, they got that bow and arrow pointed. They're really focused and they go after it, but they're not seeing what they're doing. That's... A very good card to depict that because that's that's a lot what it's like it's somebody who doesn't want to make a decision all of a sudden but they rush in and then they become overwhelmed something made this person become emotionally overwhelmed now it could be something you said I, I don't know I feel like you did something kind and compassionate and something got this person's emotions going but there's so much abundance here with fortune wealth and plenty there is no real lack here it's more of an emotional energy yeah, somebody's lacking love in their life because of this. But I do feel there's hope. See, both of these are fives. It means there's hope to overcome things, okay? Sometimes chaos, conflict is all about forcing someone to change or forcing someone to change the course in their life, the path that they're on. So, but this is a person speaking truth. Who is this speaking truth? Who is this? Ooh, this has to do with commitment. Ooh, the ring, Ace of Pentacles, solid. There's a commitment. Somebody wants to commit. If you had somebody who wasn't committal, I feel they want to commit now. Or it's somebody who was in a committed relationship and something happened. But I really feel somebody wants, yeah, this is where the clouds are clearing up. The clouds, 
King of Pentacles. This is someone who's actually stable. See, they're stable. It's all in their head. It's like the sense of loss. Um, they were. This is just somebody who was in a really negative space because they weren't over something. They were still focused on those cups. So whatever you do, though, again, Capricorn, this could be Capricorn masculine, but if there's a Capricorn feminine here, okay, don't be afraid to teach someone how they want to be treated, but do it in a kind and compassionate way. I actually feel it started by being kind and compassionate. I do, and it overwhelmed this person. It's like, uh, they were lonely or lack they had they maybe they had a relationship in the past where it was just chaos conflict drama it was just negative obviously it's over they hadn't quite put it behind uh, but i feel this is just that space they were in mm -hmm. it overwhelmed them this is somebody i feel who's i i really feel this is someone who needs to focus on other things in their life and not their money i, I feel like this is someone who isn't living their life it has something to do with why this happened, okay? But they're speaking truth. They're speaking truth. This is someone who wants to commit. They want they want committed relationships. See, the clouds, things are clearing up. You can see the six movement forward. The clouds are clearing. See, they're clearing all this out, clearing up the negativity. They're speaking truth. Yeah, they're analyzing this too. Very analytical, very wise, uh, and very logical too. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think this person needs to stop. They focus on their money. They work, they work, they focus on work too much, not enough of their love life. Uh, even when they're in a relationship or a committed relationship, they still focus on the money too much. But something happened to this connection. It, it, it's something that they just, like I say, they're is putting it behind. This is someone who just felt like giving up. They just felt, what's the point, you know? But they don't realize and they're not seeing the abundance. I feel like you have a lot of abundance or seeing something with you. So this person, I'm going to tell you, you're, you've got a commitment coming in. You might have a couple things happening uh, here too, but it's about committing. Yeah, this person's loyal, faithful. See, the faithful friend, they're loyal. Somebody wasn't loyal to this person, so I do feel there was something that happened. It was devastating. That tower came down. But, you know, this is one of those situations where it's for the better. This is a person who likes committed relationships. Okay, It's like they came in, they were into it, but I don't think this person, like, this is the way they were, I feel, internally, outward i feel this person was kind of i don't know mopey and uh, withdrawn you know negative they didn't really have a lot to say but they're coming towards you this person is coming in to communicate and they're going to tell you some they're going to tell you okay they're going to tell you they are loyal this person's loyal they're faithful okay somebody wasn't faithful to them like i say they found out that somebody wasn't but look at that. This person's solid, reliable, dependable. They are faithful. This person's a good catch. Um, they see you as a good catch, though, because I often see that as the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, see, solid. This is this is stable. This person wants stability. They like stability. But they were in a relationship that wasn't for whatever reason. So this is, and I feel this is someone that there was a lot of lack in the relationship. And it could be something you've been through here, too, Capricorn. Like I say, you see, in a relationship that just wasn't stable, maybe financially too, I don't know. Maybe there was a lack of money rushing into something too quick without, you know, having the money and the finances, um, but it definitely didn't last. Yeah, choices have consequences, but there's a lot of abundance here. This is sometimes a person who just never feels like they have enough. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about the Five of Cups. Look at that, the sun. You got someone new. See, this is somebody letting go of all this energy. They're coming in to tell you truth. Now, you might not even be aware of this person. Some of you, like I say, you have something. You have something here that you need to look at. If you're a masculine, if you are the masculine here, uh, this very well could be you, though. Like I say, it's about coming in right, being ready. Somebody came in very fast and they weren't ready. Now, either they didn't feel they were financially ready, because but I do feel they do. They have a lot of abundance. <laughs> uh, 
I see that truth, ace of swords, see things clearing up, and the clouds are clearing. I feel this person's just been living under a dark shadow, you know. That's that, and you know, look at the mountains here. This is an energy of somebody crossing mountains. This is somebody making a mountain of a molehill. They were just, you know, they're just in that space. You know, just take it as it resonates. But I feel this is someone who feels much more confident. But as a feminine, don't be afraid to put up boundaries. It's possible this person might too, like I say. But to me, it looks like someone kind of crossed the line maybe with you at some point. Mm hmm. It could be this person. I don't see someone coming back around. In fact, I feel like you put something behind you. But I do feel for this new, you're going to apply those lessons learned from the past. You're going to have boundaries. And I think this person is going to be okay with those boundaries. Because sometimes that Knight of Swords needs those. <laughs> but this person's, you know, they're, they have that King of Swords energy. I do feel they're a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. I also feel I see some water. And I think this is someone who got emotionally overwhelmed. I don't know if you had a date with this person or what happened here. But they're, I mean, you've got this new. So I say, whatever this is you're putting behind, I feel like you've got new. This is somebody who's faithful. They like commitments. They like to be in a committed relationship. I think this person had a tower moment finding out somebody wasn't faithful. Yeah, this person has a house, a home. They like commitment. I mean, there I am talking and shuffling, and I look down, there it is. <laughs> yeah, this person has a house and home. They have everything they need, but this is someone who wants commitment. Yeah, king of hearts. This person's ready for love. This person's actually very kind and compassionate themselves. Very kind and compassionate. They can be very generous. They're very loyal. Ten of cups, emotional fulfillment. Yeah, this is something going to be emotionally fulfilling here coming in. Whatever this past is, I don't even want to dwell on it because I feel like it's just this person's going to talk to you about some of this. Or if you're a masculine, you're going to talk to someone about this. And it has to do with truth. Look at that, the sun. It's just as someone who just wasn't ready to start something. So it's more than likely, like I say, they want to. Yeah, the bridge. This is someone who's going to initiate. Let this person start it, and I'll tell you why. So that they know that they're ready. If they start this, you'll know they're ready. So that's something here, I feel. If you are someone who often you know, reach out, reaches out and offers something to get something going. And it kind of looks like the feminine may have, okay? You can flip it. Um, and this person wasn't ready, but yet they came in because they, you know, they, they were, they liked it. I mean, they, there was an attraction. They wanted it, but they weren't ready. Yeah. But the bridge, I love the bridge. That's initiation. They're going to initiate this. Okay, but do put up boundaries. Yeah, see, this is somebody who felt left out in the cold, negative, all dried up, washed up, nothing's going to happen, everything's, you know, they're lonely, there's no options, there's nothing going on. It's just a very negative, okay? That's what I feel this person's energy was, okay? Okay. So, and I do think there's going to be, I think there's something that's worth forgiving here. That's why that strength is here. So if you feel this is someone who did something really hor horrible, like really bad, this is likely not your reading. Okay. Yeah. This person's got to be the one to make the first move. They may have moved and relocated, but it's about movement. So this is someone who's now ready to move. They've left this behind. Beautiful. They are being a little cautious, but they're going to take off the mask. See, they had a mask on. They weren't themselves. They weren't themselves. But they're, they are taking off the mask, and they're being a little cautious. They're playing it a little bit safe. I feel this is someone who's probably got some questions. Okay. Uh, it looks like a masculine, but I do see loyal. I see this person loyal and faithful. And I'm going to tell you, there's something that this person may have... See, found some truth about yourself that you are this is often someone who sees someone as a good catch somebody who's got some kind of loyalty so yeah don't know where they're finding that out but obviously they know yeah their intentions is to take the lead their true intentions see they're very wise 
See that there's an egg here hatching. So somebody was kind of hard on the outside, maybe came across as a little cold at first. You're going to find out why. Yeah, see ghost lands. They've been ghosted by someone, ignored. They just were left out in the cold. Oof, boy, that's all these cards for this person. It's really trying to, I feel, when that happens, tell you so you can be kind to compassion and understanding what they were happened to them. Now, if this is something that happened to you, okay, then this is where you're, you know, that if you're a feminine, it happened to you, you need to speak the truth. If you're a masculine, I see you speaking the truth, seeing the truth. And your your intentions are, I think this is somebody who, their intentions either were to commit or they're just seeing you as somebody who's faithful. Yeah, I mean, this is a person here, I feel, was just really going for, I don't know if they ghosted you, ignored you. It looks like, I don't know, did you have a date and then they just ghosted you? It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Like you had a date, but they're coming in to speak truth. You're a good catch, and so are they. <laughs> okay? Yeah. But you want to watch out. If you have ever experienced, for those of you who are feminine, and you're looking back at something, if you've ever experienced that Knight of Wands, oh, so fun, charming, often sexy, fiery, a lot of fun, very creative and passionate. But if they, if somebody pressures them, I don't know if this person felt pressured if you started it, like they should go on a date and they didn't want to, they weren't ready. Maybe that's not what you really even wanted. I don't know. But it's something, it's almost like there wasn't enough proper communication, truth or clarity uh, here. But it is a person who is committal, you know. They're absolutely somebody who's committal. And what do we have here? Yeah, see, this is somebody here who is... See, navigating their path, they're ready to go down a new path. This person's just focused on work. I feel they focused a lot on work uh, while they were going through this. Uh, but you can see there's that pinnacle. That's their plan. They're making a plan. They're coming. This person will commit you. They're making a plan. But if you have someone who's moving too slow, this is maybe something that happened. Someone was moving faster than the other person. I mean, this could be yourself. There's the plan to that pinnacle, <laughs> the commitment. Mm -hmm. It's a person who often focuses, like I say, they focus too much on money. This is a person who focuses on money. And if the, if it's not you, you, because there is an earth sign person here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, earth energy. This is somebody who's actually very, normally very reliable. Yeah, there's going to be some kind of truth. Ace of swords, some sort of truth. The light bulb's going off. This person's planning something. They're coming up with an idea. But they're going to start something here with you. Yeah, you got the two of cups. I got to tell you, there's something special here. Now, it is possible some of you are leaving someone behind too. Um, because you didn't get what you wanted um, and somebody hides their true self. If you have that, chances are through this energy, regardless, you're going to connect possibly with someone else who is faithful and loyal. Okay, so it's also an energy of being showing someone you're loyal. So that's why I feel somebody is showing you they're invested, okay, or you're going to show them by offering up this commitment. Okay, now it could be a gift, it could be something... Um, you know, lovely to show somebody that they care. But there's going to, this is a soulmate connection. But others of you, I can see um, making some kind of choice, leaving someone behind that may never commit. Okay? It is possible with this energy. But I, it's like an energy of moving on, leaving it behind. But I feel like it's this person. It's just really an energy of someone who just wasn't, didn't move on. There's the fool. Now, they could feel a little bit like a fool, but they're reflecting on all this. They're leaving it behind, and they're ready to go down this path. So it's a leap of faith. <laughs> yeah. A, the pentacles, yeah. They want to build something here. But they are perfecting their craft and skills. Uh, you know, they're kind of looking at this, what you both bring to the table. Uh, but it takes two people to build. So this is going to be both of you. There's going to be some communication about this with this person. But it is somebody who wants to build a foundation, maybe on friendship first. Okay. Capricorn, we know you kind of like that. I think, or if you're, if that's not what you want, you're the one moving fast. 
I mean, I know some Capricorns there. I don't, I don't know why it's always this slow energy because huh, I know two of them that are not slow. <laughs> when they want somebody, they, it's, they got some fire in their chart. So there we go. So we have choices. So some of you have choices, definitely. Yeah, making choices. Choices have consequences. I think somebody here made a bad choice. They rushed into something too quick with somebody and made a commitment, but that person wasn't committed to them or committed to them for the wrong reasons. That's why there's that kind of king of uh, pentacles energy here. Uh, maybe a business owner, someone who's stable. But you're moving towards stability with this person. Ooh, there we have it. There we have it, the woman. Yeah, look at that. This is someone choosing, making a choice, or it's the feminine who's the one who has choices. I feel like it's saying the feminine, but yeah. I wish you guys the very best here. I'm going to pull out a couple more uh, Moonology cards. I beat this up enough. Push through any insecurity. So it's an energy of... Um, oh, that was that Cancer moon, <laughs> the new moon in Cancer. Somebody started to push through some insecurities here of sharing, taking off the mask, showing their true self, their intentions. You see, someone's going to reveal their intentions. But I, I feel you need to have boundaries. The feminine. Oh, the masculine too, often. But I, like I say, I, the Knight of Swords often, you put boundaries in front of that, um, that you know, kindly compassionately boundaries of you just want to be friends first and see how it goes i think this person will relax i just get the vibe that because it's almost like they felt pressured the knight of swords often you know feels pressured that they need to do something they're not ready for but because they're so enthusiastic and they're so um they're they're an often a person who doesn't like to hurt people's feelings and stuff too so you know it's a yeah, it's, you know, that king, queen of wands energy is people who don't like injustices. So, yeah, like I say, this person's going to push through those insecurities. I feel they felt pressured. You Maybe you rushed in and they felt pressured and then ran away. But, yeah, I really like the trust in the universe. See, the universe is putting two people together here. So somebody may have their moon in Aquarius. So it's a person who's often not super emotional or they just release things that no longer serve. It's kind of like the star energy and there's some Leo energy. Yeah, see, there's some Leo energy here. I'm, I'm guessing this is more Leo, uh, this person. Um, or maybe yourself, if you have that Leo or Sag in your chart, maybe even Aries. You're, you're going to be bold if you're the feminine. Okay, Well, even if you're the masculine, but... I'm sensing there's a feminine here that needs to put up boundaries. But the new moon in Leo. Okay. So this could happen during Leo season. And I feel talk less, feel more. <laughs> well, there's going to be some talking, but it's all about getting into those emotions. Um, there's going to be a lot of communication here. Yeah, it's an energy of somebody honoring how you feel. Pisces is like the hangman. Somebody, you know, looking at things from the other person's perspective, how they feel. That's that Cancer moon. That's part of that energy too. It's the energy of honoring your own feelings, but somebody else honoring how you feel. You feel the way you feel, okay? And this person felt the way they felt. So that's why I feel there's, I feel there's an, um, definitely an energy of, of forgiveness here. Okay, take care and we'll see you soon.